really with the Arts Empowerment Project, it's really focused on uniting everyone in Charlotte to get on a common purpose, and that purpose is to advocate for creativity in the lives of all these kids. And so, you know, we work with so many partners across the city to really build these great programs and really work with children who, children and just teens and all these youth who are at risk of so much in their lives. So with the Arts Empowerment Project, you know, the big magic that happens, the thing that we're really looking to see is the connection. You know, these students getting connected with themselves, they're getting in tune with their, you know, personality, their rhythm, and whatever it is that's going on, they're getting expressive. And so that's a really big thing that we're trying to see. It's the restorative element and being able to connect with yourselves and connect with other people, and really that's the magic that we're trying to see. Hello, my name is Gabby. I go to JMA. I am in seventh grade. I think it's very cool because um, you get to like be active and you learn how to make new friends and everything, how to interact with other people and I think it's just great. Eh, ahora ella misma ha aprendido a creer más en ella. Ella eh, sabe que las cosas a veces son un poco difíciles. Gabriela's mindset has changed completely. She has been acquiring a lot more positive thoughts in her in her daily life. She is no longer thinking those negative thoughts and she's been able to cope with a lot of the feelings she's been having in the past. And so this is the way that it has really helped her. It's helped her become a lot more positive. When she first started, when she came to us and started the program, she was a little more reserved, uh, a little quieter. Uh, she'd go into the back row of the classroom and participate and overcome the challenges and the goals. But as the weeks and the months went by, she started smiling a little bit more, saying hi a little bit more, gaining confidence. And then empowerment, she would move forward. And instead of being in the fifth row, she'd move up to the fourth row, then the third row, and talking more to the people to the left and right of her and engaging and kind of interacting in the class a lot more and then now when she comes in and leaves she says hi and bye she talks to more friends so she's made connections and growth in the class and dance has really helped empower that well I think it's like from all of this help I've been getting because like the other times I was like just like didn't like I was just like I was always giving up and like I just like learned from all these classes that I had like it's been like working a lot and I think I had progress like a lot, a lot, a lot. And She's really a rock star, she has a great personality, she just comes into a room and really lights up the entire space and you can definitely see that with you know all of the people and all the people that she gets connected with and so I think that's something I've always really appreciated her for you know being in the space and it really helps me connect to, to other people and it helps me just kind of navigate my own uh, emotions and so that's something that I've always really appreciated from Gabriella. One, two, three, and four. I think young people in her position or, or kids that are really on that path, on that search to find themselves, the great thing about the Arts Empowerment Program is the constant um, personal touches that the Arts Empowerment Program does. They're constantly involved. They're always asking, they're always following up, they're always checking, not to say, I hope everything's okay, but hey, what can we do to help this young person improve? What are we doing and what are we not doing? What works and what doesn't? They're constantly evaluating. Um, they don't really focus on the problems or challenges that a, a young person has. They're focusing on the solutions. Uh, well, I believe that you know, it's really important for other people across Charlotte to get on, get on the same page. Get on the same page and really believe in, in the power of creativity, of art, of expression, because it's something that's really needed. We just need to do a lot more and explore, you know, the creative side of our kids and really allow that to be the restorative, the restorative therapy process.